Tarkov is a home to many different types of organisms. One of the most celebrated is the Sweat, who notoriously dominates the landscape. On the complete other end of the spectrum are the endangered casuals. Come along and see how these creatures turn from lively members of the landscape to their inevitable departure from its borders forever. The typical casual is a person who may be a student or a worker, and as a result, they have many responsibilities. As such, they start in Tarkov later than most. They may begin several days after the wipe occurs, already putting them at a disadvantage. That being said, the early wipe is when the casual has the most fun. As a result of everyone being poorly geared, fights are often longer and goofier. When carrying nothing valuable, casuals are more than happy to take fights. If however, they have retrieved a quest item, they would much rather extract than do anything risky. It's almost as if they morph into a rat upon finding an item of interest. As Tarkov transitions into the mid-wipe, the casual will only face more struggles. The Sweats and other tryhard players have likely already accessed high-tier gear and they are merciless. However, completely one-sided battles aren't too common, and the casual still has enough exciting encounters to remain enthralled with PvP. The true test comes when they finally begin the slog that are Jaeger and Peacekeeper quests. 
Jaeger and Peacekeeper quests strain the patience and will of every creature in the region. As a result of this roadblock, many casuals stop questing, and some may even drop off of Tarkov altogether. Some lucky ones will have friends that are mega sweats, who then carry their casual brethren through these difficulties. Those unlucky enough to be alone simply continue to do their best. They are met with disappointment after disappointment, but the occasional dopamine rush keeps them hungry and coming back for more. The late wipe marks an interesting time for the casual. Many of the sweats have already burned themselves out and begun hibernating for the next wipe cycle. For the sweats that remain, the casuals that are still around have finally unlocked gear that gives them a fighting chance. With that being said, only a small percentage of the casual population makes it this far. The grind was long and arduous, and even now they are constantly Tarkov'd. Maybe it's desync, maybe it's a cheater, maybe it's a scav just being a scav, but something eventually causes the casual to truly question if Tarkov is a worthwhile time sink. Every time a casual leaves, it is initially to take a break. They plan to de-stress and come back to Tarkov fresh and ready again. But many times, this break becomes permanent. They find joy in more chill experiences that are available. They have run the last raid, and they have finally escaped from Tarkov. Those that remain, however, have become addicted to Tarkov's adrenaline-infused combat. They continue to play until the next wipe, where they begin their journey once again, this time as more than a simple casual. The journey of the Tarkov casual is rarely a cheerful one. The tiresome and sometimes impossible grind filters out all but the most devoted players. As a result of this, the casual player base is critically endangered, as there is no way for the creatures that raid for less than three hours daily to keep up with their competitors. Even now, the landscape becomes less and less accommodating for the casual, and they may go extinct within the not-so-distant future. What impact this extinction will bring is simply impossible to know.